New details, the Morgan County Sheriff's Office says it expects more people to be out on the water this summer after coronavirus forced people to be stuck indoors. And the sheriff says among them is among them actually using the Memorial Day holiday to introduce a new patrol boat to monitor the Tennessee River. Way 31 Stephen Dilsizian is live at Rhodes Ferry Park with what deputies will be looking for this summer. Stephen. Yeah, Dan, here in Decatur, there were plenty of boats out on the Tennessee River today celebrating the holiday. Now, deputies tell me they've seen more boats on the water at this time in the year compared to the same time in years past. And they say the coronavirus could be a big reason why restrictions like social distancing come naturally when on a boat. You can easily socially distance yourself out on the water. So that's why we think we saw it pick up sooner than in years past. You can get out here on your boat with your family and have a great time. Not really interact with anybody. Mike Swafford with the Morgan County Sheriff's Office says boaters being surrounded by the waves and less people is a natural form of social distancing, something that is important now more than ever because of the coronavirus. Deputies are prepared to see more people on the water itching to get out of the house. And then the other thing is there just wasn't much you could do while everything was shut down. So that pushed people to the water. Thankfully, it's all gone well so far, and we want to continue that through this weekend. Gerald New lives in Morgan County and spent his Memorial Day trying to keep a distance. As he watched many boats fill the Tennessee River, he says he isn't surprised. They're just going to be out because people have been in for two months, and everybody is ready to get out. We're ready to get out and go see our children. 2019 was one of the state's deadliest years on water. The Morgan County Sheriff's Office did not have its own patrol boat. But now it does, teaming up with the county rescue squad, Decatur police, and state troopers to keep people safe. Coming off of one of the deadliest years in Alabama waterway history, uh, we're extra prepared this year to make sure that people have a safe, fun, enjoyable time while they're out there. Swafford asks people to make sure they have safety equipment on board and sanitize it once it's used. But the way of life might be different, but the same water rules apply. To make sure that you have the safety equipment that you need should a disaster occur. You know, it's as simple as having enough life jackets in your boat for everybody on board. Now, Swafford tells me if they get calls of alcohol-related incidents, domestic violence, and any general fights with both on land and on water. Those calls don't change. They tell me that deputies are going to be monitoring any activities that are on the water, and they're going to be making sure that boats have the necessary safety gear and equipment this boating season. Reporting live in Decatur, Stephen Dilsizian, Way 31 News.